This is the XFL Orlando. Someone goosed me. I liked it. Thank you, sir. Oh, that's Melissa. <laughs> it's the XFL Orlando Rage, and let's get ready to fumble! GT! You're looking live at the never frozen tundra of Orlando's Citrus Bowl Field, where tonight 25,000 people have assembled to see the stars of GTV. Oh yeah, and watch an Orlando Rage football game too. Hey, good evening everybody, I'm Johnny. I'll be anchoring your GTV coverage of the Orlando Rage tonight. Also joining us is our crack team of sports reporters, and let's meet them right now. Hey, how you doing? I'm Lagasio over here. We're gonna be kicking it up a notch out here, tailgating outside and inside the ball, or as I like to call it, the testosterone terrain. Stick around. I'm Martha Stewart, and I'll be dishing up all the dirt here on the sidelines. Of course, I'll show you how to clean it up as well. Hello, it's Madame Furious, and I'm gonna be up in the stand checking out all the crazy people that we can find. Like this guy who dyed his hair a hideous color for the game tonight. Excuse me. Oh, it it's you. Hi. Hi guys, it's Melissa Fox, you know, MelissaFox.com, the news thing on Real Radio 104.1 during and before Howard Stern, yeah. M4Radio.com. Christ, I got my hands in everything. Well, up. I'm up at the press box tonight at the Orlando Rage game. Yeah, XFL. Vince McMahon, love you, baby. Mean it. <laughs> anyway, I'll be checking in with some reports throughout the game tonight and throughout the show. Right now, let's go to Johnny. Tonight's game is just getting started, but we have a replay from our last show that league officials have reviewed. Our G-Band of the Year is... My nipples are hard in anticipation. Mine too, yeah, I know, again. Isn't this oh. Mine too, yeah, I know, again. Isn't this oh. It was determined that that was the gayest sound heard on television since Paul Lind, Liberace, and Robert Reed all appeared on the old Dinah Shore show. I beg for your absolution and offer this, or should I say these? Mind if I ban me with some of the essence? Like hell. Damn, damn, damn! GTV! Both as part of my stadium spruce up charity work and the fact that the Rage's opponents are from San Francisco, I thought it appropriate to plant some flowers along the sidelines of the opposing team. It's a subliminal way to show the visiting team what type bunch of limp wristed pansies that they really are. Back to you. You are not going to believe what I have here. It's a sports drink made for dogs. It's true. It tastes pretty much like Powerade or Gatorade or Farmaid. Maybe a little less sweet. And it's a contestant in tonight's Elmer Challenge. Well, guess we run into here at the Rage Game. Uh, they're tailgating. What's up? Orlando's own Jimmy Jocelyn. How you doing, Jim? I'm good. How you doing? You ready to take the taste test? Sure. Let's give it a shot. Let's do it. Go with the A first. Go with the A. There's drinking. What do you think? Wet. Okay, now do the B. Okay. What do you think? What do you like better? A. Okay, do you realize that that is a new power drink that's marketed for dogs? Ah, well, that's me. Is it? Yeah. What do you think of the A? I, uh, I think it tastes like water. 
It tastes like water. Yeah. Okay, do you realize that this is a new power drink that's marketed for dogs? And this is power this is power aid right here. But Mimi eat dog power drink? But it's don't worry about it. You're, you're gonna have a nice shiny coat by the end of the day, okay? That's a sports drink that's test marketed for dogs. Very nice. Yeah, Very it's nice. a power sports drink. What do you think? These dogs are living high in the hog, I tell you. I'm telling you. <laughs> what is that, water? Huh? Is that water? No, it's a sports drink for dogs. For dogs. For dogs. It's Don't worry about what it. What kind of rich socialite are you selling sports drinks to dogs for? They got like diamond collars and sports drinks and crap? It's a big market that we're trying to trap here over on GTV, all right? Stick around! Is this thing on? Here comes the first story. The boss of a car factory in Kent, England has uh, come under fire, sent out a memo to his staff telling them to take a shit at home, save more time at work. Brian Adams, oh, that's what happened to him. <laughs> he also suggested that he might raise the height of the stall doors so he can see whose shoes are in there and tell who's been spending too much time in the potty. I say it's control freak gone mad. Of course, we've got, <laughs> we've got that guy beat here at GTV. The station manager removed the toilets two years ago. Just a hole in the floor. <laughs> Just pee footmarks. Crazy. Did I spit? Ew. <laughs> GTV! Now, is there anything that you do to get yourself ready for a rage game? Well, let's see, we drink for about five hours. We grow up with them. within 50 miles of here right now are howling because of that, that screech of hers. It's, it's unbelievable. Let's try one more time. Do that one more time, that screech. Oh, the puppies are bleeding. Oh, look, I have just found one of our old friends from the show. It is Dirty. Pardon me, Clean Jim. Come on, follow me. Excuse me, Dirty, I mean, Clean Jim. It is me, Martha Stewart. Hey, Martha, how are you? I'm fine, how are you doing again? Doing wonderful. Now, I was going to ask you a quick question. Yes. What have you been doing since we last saw you from our show? Uh, working, um, I had a vasectomy. Holy smokums, that means you're- I still have the stitches, would you like to see them? Well, you and I can uh, meet after the show. You bet we can. Thank you, Dirk. I mean, clean at Jim. Thank it you, was Martha. Wonderful seeing you again. And thank you, guys. Hey, check it out. We got turkey legs over here, Serrano's pizza. We got corn dogs, barbecue, pork barbecue, hot man, hot meatball subs, funnel cakes, and chicken divine. Hey, hey, wasn't Cluckers going out with her? Funny he should mention that. The cheerleaders were just asking me about Cluckers, the alien, and Gorilla Gorilla. Well, they weren't able to get into the stadium tonight, but they're watching at home, and if I know them, they're probably hungry right now. You know, that gives me a great idea for a new bit. Let's call it the Pizza Olympics. What we're going to have the three of them do is each call one of the big three pizza chains and see if they can order a large pepperoni pizza and have it delivered in 30 minutes or less anymore. We'll check back with them throughout the night. Oh, my turn. <laughs> An intoxicated beer drinker who peed on the leg of a woman's student in the middle of a crowded Oktoberfest beer tent was fined $600 by a Munich court. Y'all might want to take note of that. The 22-year-old man told the court he had drunk two quarts of beer, suddenly he felt the urge to, in his own words, take a god-awful piss. He claimed that he tried to do it in an inconspicuous way, he said, I didn't mean to hit anyone. You know, this is one of the worst pickup moves I have ever heard of. But then again, we've all had it happen at a frat party, or was that just me? Curious. Hey, let's go see what's going on with Madam Curious. I've had a lot of beer and I feel great. I'm ready to rock. Madam Curious, you're the best. I love GTV. Oh, I love you, Captain Ray. It's time for a look at what's happening outside the stadium in the newsreel. Okay, now which one is it? All or all? All or all? I'm all confused now. Or is that all confused? You know, you'd think that if the recipe were so famous, they might have stayed in business. And if you have no common sense, we found some for you. Lucky for you, yours comes with office furniture. And I guess you need this if you're not really into the punk or skinhead scene. Not to be confused with the Oy Vey filter, which is completely different. You know, people just love our Martha. So much, in fact, they wanted to run for mayor and make over a Koei. Dr. Fock Hugh Pham. Dr. Fock Hugh Pham. Now, I'm not sure, but I don't think we can say that on TV. 
Finally, due to the continuing California energy crisis, we regret to inform you that Pasadena is closed until further notice. If you turn us on to one of these non sequiturs and we use it on the air, we'll send you a GTV t-shirt. Orlando's up at the half, and we have a great halftime show coming up for you on segment two. We're Omnibus. You're watching GTV. We're, We're up next, next, bitch. Clubs like these, who needs friends? Well, hello, it's me, Gloria, and we are here halftime at the XFL game. Baseball at its finest. Ooh, I spit. Oh, it's football. Pat that ass, he made a touchdown. All right, and we've got some great halftime entertainment today. Omnibus. I feel omnibus. Omnibus. Everybody get omnibus. Omnibus.
right, that was Bring It by Omnibus. I like those guys. I like their tune. If you want to check it out, mp3.com. Did you know that some of them are brothers? Family. They stick together. They make it big. I guarantee it. Now, if you're a local band and you want to be a rock and roll star, we can make it happen. Just hop on to GorillaTV.net and uh, our people will contact your people. Next thing you know, but -na 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 -na, you're in front of the TV. Recognition everywhere, and you're a star. Want to thank Sapphire for letting us hang out. And uh, I'm Gloria. This is G Bands. We're going to take off now. Do you like my jacket? I like my jacket. It makes me feel sexy. So until the next time, I'll see you later. This is The Scene, your invite to some of the happening happenings throughout the area. If you're sponsoring something that you think should be seen on the scene, here's our address and email address. By the way, GTV is looking for sponsors for the scene, Gloria's G-Band segment, Melissa's Can I Get a Witness News, and more. Visit the website to find out how you can be a GTV sponsor. Time for a Pizza Olympics update. In near record time, Papa John's not only beat the 30-minute challenge at 21 minutes, they even got here before we were able to turn on one of our hidden cameras. Congratulations, Papa John's, your gold medal winner. Stay tuned to see who takes the silver. That along with the second half of tonight's game after this and a word from your local station. Why get your next hoe from Hookers Direct? Because you pay less. Hookers Direct! Missing money from your wallet? Could be your hooker. Develop a bad case of hoopies? Maybe it's your hooker. Hookers Direct! I love hookers! See all of us and save. If you didn't deal with Hookers Direct, you didn't get a guarantee and... You pay too much! Hookers Direct, the nation's largest hoe house. Just across the tracks on the South Trail, along the boardwalk in Daytona, and coming soon to Celebration. You're watching the XFL on GTV. Hey, this is Crash from WJRR, and you're watching GTV. Back here at the sidelines of the Orlando Rage game, where we got some Orlando Rage fans, like this guy. Woo! Yeah. Like your hair, man. Yeah. Love it, too, man. The Rage are number one. XFL Rage, baby. XFL! You know what I love about the XFL over here? That they really know how to kick up the power on Nacho 10. And I found out the best way to harvest this power, you can create a happy, happy hot dog. All you have to do is place your franks or brats or favorite sausage on the pyro pots before the game. 
then step back and enjoy the play introductions, knowing that you'll be eating good real soon. And as the game begins, go grab your hot dog and be happy, happy, happy that you saved yourself three bucks. Just because you're a woman at a manly game doesn't mean you can't make your space in the stand a little less sparkly. You simply use a cozy pillow that will keep your end happy in the end. And you can add a little lace to show your pretty softer side at the game. Time now for a Pete's Olympic update. Our second place finisher tonight got here in 28 minutes and even noticed one of our not so well hidden cameras. In the camera, huh? <laughs> Here's your silver medal winner, Pizza Hut. Back to me, my turn again, great. Got a wonderful story for you. Bosses of a publishing firm are trying to figure out what happened. As a matter of fact, how come nobody noticed when one of their employees had been sitting dead at his desk for five days? No one noticed, yeah. George Tacklebaum, 51 years old, employed at this company, a New York firm, for 30 years. Had a heart attack in the office. He shared it with 23 other people. Quietly passed away on Monday and nobody noticed until Saturday morning when an office cleaner said, hey, why are you working this weekend? The boss said, well, George was always the first guy in every morning, last guy to leave at night. <laughs> Nothing unusual there that he was sitting in the same position at his desk and didn't say a word. <laughs> was always so absorbed in his work, you know? Kept to himself. Well, the autopsy revealed he'd been dead for five days after suffering a coronary. Ironically, George was proofreading medical scripts uh, and textbooks when he died. <laughs> yeah, can you imagine? Okay, heart attack. Let's see, pain, left arm. <laughs> Beautiful. GTV, Can I Get a Witness News. Comedy You Can Count On returns in exactly two seconds. Oh, back to me. <laughs> Great. We ran out of beer again? <laughs> Groovy. Hey, the Global Protection Company announced its new nightlight condom. It's become the first and only glow-in-the-dark condom granted permission to market by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. Hey, FDA. That's right. Disease and pregnancy prevention, glow-in-the-dark condoms got it all under control. Prior to this, of course, they've only been available as novelties. Novelties. Wow, I better get tested. <laughs> Funny stuff, Martha. And now back to you, Melissa. Hmm? Uh, there's nothing to report right now. Back to you. Oh. oh, now back to you, Elmer. I'm busy here. Come back later. Back to you, Madam Curious. Yeah, now that's what I'm talking about. You know, I come for the football, but I stay for the cheerleaders. Or is that the other way around? Appears to be a disturbance down by Martha Stewart. Now that just is not right. There is absolutely nothing wrong with fudge packing. I personally know many fudge packers, and they are some of the nicest, sweetest people on the face of the world. Do you think fudge just packs itself? I don't think so. So, don't let these jerks be a pain in the ass. Fudge Packers. Keep that sweet fudge heading our way and always remember that you'll have our respect in the end. I'm watching the game. Fine. 
A soft drink containing an ingredient of the impotence drug Viagra has been banned by Japanese officials. Advertisements for the drink, which was claiming uh, the solution to your nighttime problems, hello, it appeared in magazines and on the internet. Some 47,000 bottles of the non-prescription drink were imported from China a year ago. Each bottle, see now look, I'm missing the game. Fireworks and everything. Well, it's been nearly an hour, and Domino's just got here. Uh, didn't they start that whole thing with uh, the pizza being free if it wasn't there in 30 minutes or less? Good thing they stopped that. Your bronze medal winner, Domino's. And our advice to them is stop hiring people like the Noid and Andy and get some more competent people, okay? And stop! It is amazing! The musicians we find here at the Orlando Rage Game, I just want to know how you learn how to play the drums? Um, by whooping off a lot. Hell yeah! Yeah! Whooping yeah. off a lot. You learn how to beat things with your sticks? Yes, yeah. I do. Do you? A, stick, a big, long stick. A big, long stick. Do you, do you have to prepare the stick at any time, stroke it at any point? Yes, the stick needs to be stroked and needs to be whipped around a lot. Right? Yeah. 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 You need to pull a stick. You need to pull the stick just like you like it. That's right. Make sure it's real tight, right? Real tight. A big, tight stick. A big, tight stick. <laughs> you know, I hate to break in, but uh, I got to get my plugs in before their show is over. Yeah, melissafox.com, check it out. One word, two X's. Stop by off in the internet, it's a wonderful thing. Also, don't miss the news thing on Real Radio 104.1. Mornings, 4 a.m. to 6, and then all through Howard Stern, you'll just love it, trust me. Uh, there you go, thank you, melissafox.com. These guys are great, aren't they? Don't forget, GTV, we kick ass, GorillaTV.net. Wow, did I get a plug to somebody else? Must be time for me to go back to you, Johnny. And there you have it. The final score here, your Orlando Rage beats San Francisco Demons. Yay! Uh, what's the score? Well, we don't care. We don't know. They, they beat them, okay? And I'd like to uh, thank everyone for joining us here tonight. Thanks to the Orlando Rage, the XFL, and you for watching tonight. And uh, if you'll excuse me, I have a couple of cheerleaders waiting for me. We'll see you later. As we leave you, here are some fans of Orange County Chairman Richard Crotty showing their respect for his 60-day dance moratorium. We'll see you back in April with our Fun at the Fair show. Oh, we're going to the fair? Great, I'll have Carnival e Care. We'll see you then. Oh yeah, we need some sponsors. Go to the website. Really, we need sponsors. Buy. Buy, buy commercials on the show, I mean. Buy. Uh, that one I meant goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>